Archaeologists are always showing digging, but what are they really digging for? Most archaeological investigations seek to uncover and document remnants of past cultures. When taken alone, these remnants may not seem like much, but they can be placed into a larger context or framework of understanding to provide a more detailed snapshot of the past and its peoples. With a closer look at how the landscape is laid out, features that are discovered, and artifacts that are unveiled, archaeological findings can begin to tell a story of past peoples, fitting the pieces together like those of a puzzle. These pieces not only aid in our understanding of the human past, but also the human present. We've worked on a number of these sites over the years, including a small site in central Pennsylvania where we had a record of over 8,000 years of use by small groups who came back repeatedly uh, to use the site as a base for collecting nuts and animal foods for uh, immediate consumption as well as later uh, storage. Identifying archaeological sites is one way to preserve the past and get to know how people once lived. Another way to help preserve and inform our understanding of the lives of past peoples is to look to their descendants, people still living today, through ethnographies and oral histories. During a recent archaeological study in southwestern Pennsylvania, sponsored by the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation and the Federal Highway Administration, a site was examined and was determined to be from the early and middle woodland periods, roughly between 800 BC and 800 AD. The significance of what we found in a small site in southwestern Pennsylvania is really what it can tell us about the people that were living in the time period that they were living in. So in the early and middle woodlands, what we start to see is people using and domesticating what had been wild resources. The artifacts and features identified during the excavation of the site helped to determine the time periods in which the site was occupied. Artifacts are understood to be objects that were made, altered, or used by a human in the past. Features are the remains of a human activity, such as hearths for cooking and warm and pits for storing food or disposing of refuse. The site produced more than 6,000 artifacts and 12 features over an eight-week investigation. Consultation with federally recognized tribes and nations whose ancestors once lived in southwestern Pennsylvania helps provide additional insight into project planning, but it can also help develop the story of how past peoples used the artifacts and features we find today. Archaeological investigations have recovered thick, grit-tempered pottery and stone tools made of chert. Chert is a type of rock known to be from the local region that was chipped to form stone tools like spear points, scrapers, and knives. The site also contained cobble and pebble tools used for pounding, grinding, or smoothing in a similar way that hammers, anvils, and abraders are used today. The material used to make these tools, in addition to the remains of hearths and other artifacts and features found, indicate to archaeologists that the site was used repeatedly over time as a temporary settlement by Native Americans as they traveled. These seasonal assistant camps are collecting the local native plants and acorns and etc. And they're processing them in the field and bringing that back to the permanent village. Smaller sites like this one provide even greater insight when examined in relationship to other investigations of larger, more permanent settlements, villages, and ceremonial sites. They also speak to everyday details of life and the prehistoric people living there that are often overlooked or taken for granted at larger sites. If people have lived on this land for 15,000 years and the things they've learned, we can use in contemporary times, especially as we approach things such as climate warming or be able to utilize that knowledge. To learn more about PennDOT's efforts to preserve Pennsylvania's cultural resources, visit paprojectpath.org and pendotcrm.org.